This was my very, very first droning experience, a, a JJRC uh, X102H drone because it had altitude hold, because it had return to base, because it could carry a GoPro in principle. The reality is it can't carry a GoPro, it can carry an SJ4000 which is 40 grams lighter. However, I was piloting this at uh, the local park to get some practice in and doing some return to base stuff, which sort of works and sort of doesn't work. The headless mode works pretty well, but with the props upside down, I had a very, very hard shunt, and the little gear, which is that, that connects to the spin wheel, um, snapped off. So what should happen is they should connect together, like that. So that's what that part should look like. But what I found was to buy that replacement on uh, you can't find them on eBay and you can find them on Gearbest but they're about 15 US dollars for a set of those so that's the shaft and what I've done is I've machined down that goes through like that I've machined down basically a, uh, an old nail and I've pressed it in there and I've made that a bit smaller so that that will slide on like so and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press fit that so that it slides on. Okay, so this is my setup. I've just got a, uh, a 500 watt drill. Just basically put that in there and essentially set this up as a little lathe and used a file like that just to, while it was spinning, just to file that down and machine down the pin with two different diameters and just pressed it in. Screw that lock screw back in, which is how it should look. See the little mark that I've made on the metal shaft? That's the length that I need to nip that off so that it won't foul the screw when I put the screw in that secures the uh, rotor to the shaft. So what I've done is I'm just going to, um, I've mixed up a tiny bit of araldite and I'm going to put that along the shaft there and then squeeze it together in the vise and uh, hopefully that'll hold. There is a lot of torque on this little gear so it'll either spin off the first time it flies or it might hold. Well, that uh, aldite is going off and it's going to take probably five minutes to get to 70 or 80 percent strength i'll just just like that and then that those gears mesh and put the little cap on the back there and then reassemble it now a couple of comments on this drone clearly the blades of this one face down and that is why this shaft snapped off um, a lot of web reviews on this drone the 102h uh, basically saying it's a stupid design. There's also, I've done some camera footage with this, um, with my SJ4000, because as I said, it won't support a GoPro Hero 4. It's too heavy. Uh, it vibrates like you wouldn't believe, and you get the legs in the footage. So, not ideal, not a great design. Wouldn't buy another one. But for 80 bucks, Australian, can you go wrong? As a, uh, a newbie drone flyer, it's probably a good uh, place to start. Okay, that... Uh Gear set's been reassembled, just got to put it back in the uh, quadcopter body and uh, put the whole thing back together, let it dry and take it for a fly. Now this is the reassembly process, just be aware that these little screws here, there are four of them, keep them separate from the other screws because they're shorter and don't over tighten them because you uh, almost certainly will, uh, will strip the threads. Okay, so I'm just going to do a dry run, and that's it. Turn the drone on, got some flashy flash. So what I'm going to do, pop this down, I'm just going to see if once it pairs, if I can get the, yep, so it should be paired there, I'm just going to see if I can get it to, but operate, yes, righty, one drone completely reassembled, so I might just give it a bit of a test flight and that will be that, it'll either work or it won't.